So in the previous project, we were playing with the text view. We made this nice title ready for, uh, for us to start to build up our profile view. In this video, we're going to start to explore the image view. So I'll replace this spacer with an image. Uh, and then inside this image, we need to specify what the image is called. So currently, we don't have an image we're going to use. So we're going to go to our assets. I'll go to my desktop, and I'll drag in my picture, this little Memoji. Which I created before. So I'm just going to drag that into my assets, and we need to remember what this string is called, this profile string. So from here, within my brackets, I'll type in profile, and then this will give me my image, which will appear, but it's going to be unformatted. You can see it's pushed everything down, um, and at the moment we just have this big ugly head sitting there. So we're going to start to play with that with the properties. So first of all, I'm going to make this resizable. So we can see now it's sitting side by side within the H stack. I want to change the aspect ratio to make sure that it displays the way I want it to. So I don't want it to stretch. So content mode. I'm going to make this fill. So it'll fill up the space which I'm going to specify. Uh, I can set a frame. So this will set the exact size that I want it to be. So let's make it 100 by 100. And I don't want to worry about the alignment for now. Okay, so now it's nice and small. We can choose how we want to clip it. So currently, if I set it back around, um, and I set that to color dot white, okay, we can see that we've got a square. But what we can actually do is clip this to a shape. So if I go clip, shape, and I can choose a circle. Make sure it's clipped. Cool. Now I've got an issue because my background is being set before that. There we go. So previously it was setting the background afterwards, so it wasn't being clipped. Um, and I can also set up some padding on that as well. So from the top, let's make it 44. Okay, so that'll just shift it down a little bit. So currently they're setting side by side. I'm not happy with that. Uh, what I actually want is for them to sit within that main V stack. So let's get rid of this H stack. Okay, get my profile to sit at the top. Um, and we can start to play with this a little bit. If you want some padding from the bottom as well, we can add that in. Okay, that'll push this down a little bit. Uh, perhaps I don't like the, the size of uh, this text, so we can start to reduce that a little bit. 40 and start to play. Okay, you'll notice that now um, some of these aspects are breaking. So for example, my background. That's just because we don't have any width set for it. The next thing I'm going to add is a little bit more text as well. So instead of profile view, I'm actually going to use my name. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this spacer. I'm going to get rid of my H stack. Okay, I'm going to add in some more text, and then we'll fix up our background towards the end. So then I'm going to add in my Twitter handle. I'm going to give this some properties, a little bit of revision from what we were doing before. We can set our padding again to sit just off the top. Okay, so currently this is nicely self-contained, but we want to make sure that we fill up this space. So I'm going to sit all of this within an H stack, sit that within a V stack. So we know that this plays nice within our V stack, so we'll stick that there. Um, let's add a spacer at the top. Add a spacer at the bottom, and add one more spacer. So as you start to play with these different elements, uh, you'll realize how we can start to build this up. Whoops, I put that in the wrong spot. Okay, so now I have a spacer at the top, 
a spacer at the bottom within the, uh, the H stack, so that sits here and here to make sure that this is centered. And then I have my different elements. Those will all sit within an H stack, so the H stack sits here. And then we have another spacer at the bottom to push everything up to the top. So you can really start to build it up and you can see why it's very important to have this real time rendering of what we're building because if we have to keep building our application each time it become very difficult but it's really a little bit about trial and error and a little bit about planning so draw your grids out draw where you want to have spaces and where you want it to sit so that we can start to really design this from the bottom up so now we have our profile view uh, we're going to start to look at some buttons and how we can build up some more functionality